place in the Eastern Cape, for those of you who don't know. And uh, we're chatting to the Premier of the province as well as uh, four MECs to chat about the state of the province and uh, some of the uh, successes that it's uh, enjoyed, particularly in the last 20 years and the last five years of this administration, and also some of the grand plans uh, for the province going forward. And uh, just before the break, we, we got to hear a few things uh, from the various MECs. And now we'd like to unpack a lot of these uh, with questions from uh, people here in the, in the floor and also from you at home. Don't forget our Twitter address. And uh, so let's go straight to the floor uh, and then start unpacking this. And uh, I'm going to go to table number one. And uh, I think that's Tabiso uh, Petuka. Uh, table number one, Tabiso, if you could stand up and ask your question. Yeah, good morning. Uh, all protocol observed. I hope I'm audible. I come from Disabled People South Africa. And Peter, indeed, I want to confirm from the disability sector we have a good story to tell. Uh, <laughs> Madam Premier, I just have a question. Uh, I think you might be aware that the B scorecard has changed with the targets being improved or increased from 2% to 3% in terms of the employment of people with disabilities. Uh, we have challenges around accessible build environment. What are we going to do moving forward to ensure that we increase the employment of disabled people and meet our 2% target and even go beyond the 2% which we're not reaching to 3%? Thank you very much. Okay. Premier? Um, uh, thank you, Tabi. So let me indicate that firstly it is by no accident that uh, there is that uh, we are registering those figures. It is true effort uh, of government. The government of South Africa and we, we have taken a decision as the executive to ensure that uh, we meet the targets in the disability sector from 2% to 2%, yes. But what is most important for me is the question of accessibility. You would understand that we come from a past where accessibility, especially for disabled people, was not an, a, 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 an issue for government. And we are at a point now where the Department of Public Works, working with all departments, is spearheading the campaign of making all our uh, the government facilities accessible. We're still struggling with private sector, um, but we are trying to ensure that we, we do make and everybody aware. But more than that, um, in public um, institutions, there's a drive, a, a deliberate drive. As we build schools now, in the build program, you will find that our schools are uh, accessible 100%. Uh, our hospitals are uh, accessible 100%. All the facilities of, of government. Why we are struggling is transforming those old buildings uh, where we are challenged in terms of the laws that govern this country, the changes that you could do in some of the buildings uh, where we can't fit in lifts, for example. Uh, we still challenge there, but generally, as we build, as we work on the infrastructure, we ensure that uh, accessibility is paramount for everybody. Mm. Why, why are these things taking so long, Premier? I mean, it's you know, 20 years down the line now. It's a long time. And I'm getting a sense from the tweets that are coming through. Polani uh, Ngwekazi says, Eastern Cape is one of the poorest provinces. She's not doing enough to keep skilled people in her province. Uh, Vuyo Simao says, uh, it, it's only better in this province if, the leadership of the, if you're in the leadership of the ANC. Not us. We still drink in dams with pigs. Is that better? So there's a gap between what you're saying and what some people feel on the ground that things aren't better. How, how do you answer someone like Vuyo Simao? Um, thank you, Vuyo. Uh, sorry, thank yeah, you, yeah. Peter. Let me f first indicate uh, that indeed a lot, if you go through that speech, we give details of the lot we're talking about. 
uh, we did that deliberately so because other people whom still are looking for the service where we have not yet reached will feel nothing has been done for us. It's natural. But what has been said once by the president also is another challenge, um, which is true, that those who see others uh, receiving the services become anxious to say, when is it reaching us? Um, we understand that we work in a controlled environment in terms of finances. Uh, that is why we go all out um, as, as government to lobby first um, the SOEs nationally and provincially. We work with them to ensure that we, we, we speed up. I will make an example on electricity. We realized at the beginning of the term that uh, the eastern part of the province is not receiving that service as much as it should. And when we interrogated our systems, it, it was clear that uh, because that part is serviced from an office in another province, we, we forced uh, ESCOM to change that. And as we speak, we forced them also to allocate, reallocate funds um, for the province to speed up uh, electricity. As we are talking, um, electricity rollout has far surpassed even the targets because we increased allocation. Um, ESCOM is, is here. They will give you the figures. But um, you will still find those people who will say, as now, Tinumbane, as Kaubon, Aukafikikut because of the controlled environment you're funding. But I can assure you, having interrogated ESCOM's plan, uh, around 2016 we won't be taking backlogs in the province. All right, so, so um, maybe just a quick question for you, MEC, before we take another uh, break. This thing about skills, you know, <laughs> at the beginning of the program I talked about the, the history of the great minds that have come from this province. Uh, Premier, in her speech, spoke about the history of providing labor for the rest of the country coming out of um, Eastern Cape. This seems to continue on a different level now, where people get educated here, they get trained here, and they end up in Gauteng, Western Cape. Why can't you keep your skills here? And what about people from the Eastern Cape coming back? Um, and, and obviously there are a number of factors um, and which we are beginning to address. The first is, is ensuring that we grow um, um, our manufacturing uh, sector as fast as we can. We can. Um, and I think ARC, we can demonstrate that I mean, growth plans in the auto sector, we have attracted so many um, uh, new suppliers in the, into the sector. But also I think our, the knowledge economy also is another area where we're beginning to see growth. And we're beginning to attract back I mean, some of the skills that have left uh, the province in the, into those areas. Um, there are massive uh, plans to, to, to increase uh, infra ICT infrastructure in the province so that we improve connectivity as it were. But also I think uh, the functionality of our ports is another critical area because we've got to improve our logistics as it were. So there is no shortcut uh, from growing um, the economy, the modern economy, um, in agriculture, in manufacturing, etc. And that creates opportunities to attract uh, some of the skills that left the province back into the province. Uh, as entrepreneurs, but also I think as as as, as part of the growth in, in in all the sectors. The last point, obviously, is that developing skills also include fixing basic education, and I think there are huge plans to turn around education in the province. I think MEC was demonstrating some of the successes we are making. There's an area where I think there's no emphasis in the debate around skills, and that area is ensuring that we build enough technicians. Um, uh, to be able to drive the economy at the point of production. And again, we've set up our FET colleges are beginning to turn around, but we've also set up new facilities in the form of academies uh, for water, for instance, to increase, uh, to develop water engineers in the auto sector, engineers uh, to build through the academies. Thanks.
chat about education uh, just now after this break so don't go away uh, we'll chat education and everything else that uh, is of concern uh, for people here stay with us mm -hmm.